Hello, everybody. How, uh, how we doing? I feel like my camera's at a different... Better. <laughs> we had to move my camera around. It fell off my monitor and it's just... What happened to my floor? You got to see the couple shirts that were down there. Maybe a hoodie or two. They get... Oop. I'm a little low. No, this is fine. My chairs, like hydraulics, don't stay up, so that's just how it's gonna be. We're in the weird portion of the beard now, where it's slightly long, but not long enough to actually look full. So instead, it just looks patchy. Oh, audio? Really? What about... What about now? Is that too high now? Or is this good? Better? Good. Good. But yeah, I'm sitting here, um... With my 7 p.m. coffee. Yummy. Spilled some on myself. Oops. No sugar, no cream. It's got creamer in it. But, um... Yep. So, uh, today we're playing more WoW. Because we got about this many days left of the, um... Anniversary experience. And we're gonna try to at least get dumbass PCs done in that time. Thanks, Das. It's coming in, but it's, it's patchy right now. It's in an awkward stage. Especially my mustache, but that's alright. So, uh, here we are with PCs. I've been playing a little bit off stream. He's level 26. Um, I've just been doing dungeons, because that's the fastest way. So we're just getting right to it. He's been healing. PCs is a goaded healer. Nobody ever dies. Um, but yeah. That's his the spot. Yummy. Um, yeah. He's just, you know, PCing around. Says the average wait time is 39 seconds, so it better be that long or I might get angry. Pick up the anniversary mount off the dude outside of the Caverns of Time? Yeah, I sure did! It's the Deathwing mount, but blue this time. I haven't done this dungeon in a long time. Never mind, it's the mother load. There's another one that I haven't done in a long time. It's, um... Where's my fucking Metro guy? It's, um... Which one am I thinking of? Oh, maybe not then. No, this one. It was the siege. Oh, is this guy hurt already. The game audio, that fanfare seemed loud. Everyone always says that fucking jump scare seems loud. We'll turn the game down just a tad. We'll turn the game down a tad. Why is this guy taking so much damage? Oh, it's because he's level 15. He's taking aggro because he does 5 trillion damage. God, I do be looking scruffy. Anyone else see the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer? It sure does look like Florida. If you've never been to Florida, that's exactly what it's like. Alligators in the gas stations, in the pools. Old women dual wielding hammers in the motel parking lot. Not interested in GTA 6? 
I mean, I'm not like a giant Grand Theft Auto fan, but even I'm going to play it. What do you mean not interested? What are you going to do instead? Just avoid the media shitstorm for the two months after it comes out? Being released in 2025? Guys, it's almost 2024. That's actually, it's probably two full years from now. It's probably winter 2025, so I guess that's fair. It's hard not to be interested. That's what I'm saying. Also, we got Aphrodite. Okay, guys. That's a good tangent time. So, I'm Greek, right? I have aunts and cousins and stuff who are unironically named Aphrodite. But they don't go by it. Because us white folk don't know how to pronounce it. Guys, go by Aphrodite. That is such a cool name. It's like being named, like, Hephaestus. That'd be awesome. But instead, they end up going by, like... Like... Flo. Is that how you pronounce it? If you're, like, being really Greek, yeah, Aphrodite. But they have to go by Flo. Or... Or something else entirely. I have, like... Uh, I think I have a Leonidas somewhere in the family. But yeah, I wish, I mean, I have a Greek name, but I wish it was cooler. Most Greek names end up being after saints anyway, because we got fucking uh, colonized. Yeah, it's not Hephaestus. It's uh, Aristides. Why am I getting cooked? What the fuck just happened to my HP bar? What's going on? I'm, oh, oh, I'm working too hard. Vafadis is cool. Nice. I didn't realize what you were doing until it was too late. You got me, buddy. You got me. Shit. Gotta respect that one, because that's, that's an original right there. At least I think it is. I don't think I've heard that one before. Why are we getting cooked? I'm working too hard in this fucking dungeon. What's up, Yokogo? Jollibee, if that is your real name. Hi, Speaks. I feel like it's been a minute since I've seen you. Unless you're a lurker, in which case, I respect it. But yeah, we're getting cooked. Our DPS is not high enough for this dungeon right now, so I'm having to work overtime on the heals. Because our, our fights are going on too long. And what's all this shit? Who are those guys beating my ass right now? Destroy Speaks? Why would I do that? Reduce to Atoms. Okay guys, I saw Godzilla yesterday. That film was so good, I cried. Yeah, I cried at the, in a Godzilla film. Ever heard of it? If the tank doesn't grab the aggro off these things, I'm about to fucking lose it. What parts did I cry at? Uh, the last fucking two minutes. It kind of like builds up the emotional core until the end, so it spills over in the last two minutes. As intended. They want you to cry at that part, so it's okay. Godzilla vs. Kong is the goal release that trailer. To be fair, it's just the other flavor of Godzilla. Godzilla's been half goofy since like 1970. Whenever he swings Ankyrus around, you know? 
Yeah, Connor was going through it, but it's all right. He lived. It was really good. Like, believe the hype. Everyone says it's awesome and believe it. It was really good. If you like uh, K-drama and J-drama, you'll love it. It's like a J-drama with a big lizard in it. Is he okay? Yeah, he's all right. It was a J drama with a big ass lizard in it. It was really good. It's like K drama. It has like well, it's because like there's so much character drama and like an emotional core of the movie that Godzilla movies typically don't have. Like, don't get me wrong, it's still a Godzilla film, but like in a way that Godzilla films usually aren't. The Kong axe is still there. There's no King Kong in this film. Where is the cleave? Why are none of these things dying? Somebody... What fucking DPS do we have? A warrior? What kind? Arms warrior, so that's why. Boomkin. And I think a Beastmaster hunter? What the... But yeah, it was really good. The big li lizard was maybe as horrifying as I've ever seen him. I know a lot of people say say Shay. A lot of people say that uh, Shin Godzilla is really like scary. I don't think Shin Godzilla is very scary. Um, Shin Godzilla has like a spectacle that I think this film maybe doesn't. But like the destruction in this film is so like human. You can really feel the the power of Godzilla. Ziza Zuza. Thanks, Tanner. Bitch. Like a bitch. Like a bitch, Tanner, bitch. The warrior subclass that uses two big swords. Any good? Yeah, Fury Warriors. Uh, I main Fury Warrior back in Legion. I don't know if it's still the same, but it used to be like the most fun and strong melee spec in the game. It's just really fun. You get to press lots of buttons. Western Godzilla movies fell after Sweet Baby Boy Ghidorah went away. Ghidorah, Connor and I were talking about um, yesterday on the way to the movies. Ghidorah is the king of jobbers. Like, like Rodan is in like Megalon are the jobbers, right? But like Ghidorah, he's like all hyped up and he's still a jobber just like the others. He loves jobbing, Mr. Ghidorah. He he never wins. He never wins. He never gets any good dubs. He he always just gets this big build up and then gets bodied by the big lizard anyway. Just a jobber. <sighs> Mothra should be everyone's queen. Mothra is everyone's queen. Definitely Godzilla's queen. We love a Mothra. Megalon's my king, though. Now that's... That guy knows how to job. I'm working way over time this dungeon for some reason. This guy's taking way too much damage for a Vengeance uh, Demon Hunter, because I was playing one and I never took any damage. So I don't know what King's up to, but he does not know how to play the subclass. He doesn't have his spikes on. Wait, where are the spikes? Oh my god. He's not using his damage mitigation. That's fucking why. He's he has he's just taking full damage. He's not using his armor. Oh no. Was everyone's acting in Godzilla good? Millie Bobby Brown? I I'm gonna be honest, guys. I never saw Godzilla King of the Monsters. The one with the Eudora in it. Because I knew that the human part is bad. I did see Godzilla vs. Kong, and the acting was shit. I did like the big lizard, though. Godzilla 2014, the acting was shit. Big lizard parts were good. The problem is, I think they just need to make them 100% CGI. No more humans in the western ones, I think. No more. Just make them 100% CGI monsters punch each other in the chin. Okay, the monsters is great, only for Mothra. I love Mothra. I also love Rodan. Now that's a jobber too. Rodan and Megalon are the jobber tag team. They're the boys. 
When Godzilla needs a dub, they know who they know who to bring out. I love Rodan. He's so confident about losing all the time. I love Mothra. I mean, I've seen clips of that movie on YouTube. Like, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, part 2 of 12. And it's just the highlight reel of the film. Why are we getting cooked? Stop standing at things! And this guy's hit me with a fucking laser. Take aggro, I'm getting murdered over here. Please, tank! Oh my god. This guy's a tank to get the fast cues, and that's it. Because he does not know how. This is Rodan Slander. Rodan has never won a fight in his life. He do he's got heart for showing up, though. Yeah, I hate this tanky shit. Th this is the healer privilege. The tank leads it. Um, but really, the healer is the beating heart of every group. Nothing gets done without the tank, but the healer is really the one. It's like, it's like the, the, what is it? The dynamic of the ship where you have like the big strong guy, but then like the, the little, like his, like his girlfriend's leading really. She actually wears the pants. She just lets him lead in public for the... I must get closer. This guy's a bad tank though, he's bad. That spec is broken. I leveled that- I- I fucking- I leveled that spec to 60 in the past month. That is a broken ass uh, fucking spec for tanking. And this guy should not be taking damage. Um, yeah, he's a mechanome. Oh, he is. Oh, and he's fucking ugly. Oh. No, I need my, I need my girlfriend to tank while I DPS. She gets to do things. I just got polymorphed. They turned me into a slime. And now I'm getting murdered? Tank? Why should... I should never have been taking damage there. And then I got silenced. What is happening? Who pulled all this? What? What's happening? Somebody's gotta help us. What's all this shit? Who did this? And I'm silenced. I don't know what's happening in this fight. That heal was crazy. Yeah, that's that. We call that the panic button. That's my big cooldown, the heal. Okay, I have to do it. Why am I only dealing half as much as damage as the warrior? What's going on here? This warrior is shit. You're level 16! You should be dealing a trillion damage! The scaling isn't working! I have two damaging abilities and I'm... And I was almost dealing as much damage as the warrior. While healing. Oh, oh no. This is the DPS chart at the bottom right. The hunter is popping off. And I am keeping up with the warrior. I did more! I did more damage than the warrior! No way! While healing? You're level 16! The, the, the damage scaling is off for characters that are like lower than level 20. So they should be dealing like 50 trillion damage. Oh no. What do I usually eat in the theater? Popcorn? Yeah, but, and I'm always disappointed. The warrior isn't damaging right now. They're AFK back there. That's alright. It's alright. Once we're done with this dungeon, I never get to see them again. It's good. It's alright. We, we only have one more boss. We only have one more boss. 
I'm reading a chat and DPSing and healing. And I'm doing better than this guy. How is it possible? He's the brown bar down here. They're color-coded by class. Warriors are brown. The monk is the green one. Well, they're like the blue-green one. Uh, the the dark green one is hunters. They're like the olive drab. Demon hunters are purple. Orange is druid. Oh, I leveled up at some point and I didn't even notice. Cool. But yeah, Godzilla Minus One was really good. And they managed to do it, guys. They had a baby in a film that I actually thought was cute. I never think babies in films are cute. They had like a baby and a toddler that I thought was cute on screen. I don't know how they did it. It's an Asian baby? What are you trying to say? You care to expand on that, Das? What are you trying to say? Western babies are ugly? Can you define Western for me? What do you mean by that? I'm out damaging two of the DPS right now, using two abilities. Oh, the warrior beat me. West of Japan? I mean, if you think about it, everything's west if you go around in a circle long enough. Our DPS suck this dungeon. That's all right. It's all right. We're never going to see them again. We're never going to see them again. We're never going to see them again. Shoot the damn boss, please. I've never seen the boss actually get to this phase because usually we just kill him before he does this. I think we need him to like smash these barrels or something. Could, could you come over here and smash this barrel? I've never seen him do this before. You ever seen my first error on Netflix? I have no idea what that is. These fuckers. Does he have to do this on all of them? No way. This fucking warrior. Move. Fuck. Kill this son of a bitch. Just for that, I'm gonna out DPS him. I'm gonna do it. Yup, just like that. Look. Look at this fucking... Look at this chart. Let's check the entire dungeon, though. Hmm. Yeah, the tank insta left. Yeah, I don't blame you. This is damage taken? No, I want... Hmm, this is the wrong menu. Whatever. I, I'm not digging through fucking details right now. They changed the UI. Regardless, that should not have taken so long, nor been that difficult. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's a reality TV show about three-year-old Japanese children doing simple errands, like going alone to buy groceries. What? I'm 
sending out your... They send toddlers to get groceries? That's whack. That's pretty good. What do these do? What does this do? Nah. Boring. Boring. That's fine. That's the most fun one. The areas they film in are safe. Is anyone truly safe? Yo, I got a fucking pet for doing this random quest that I got from a dungeon? Let's go do that shit. I gotta go to Booty Bay. Wait, how do I... How do I get there? From here. Oh, I can fly. I'm on the Eastern Kingdoms. Yeah, Booty Bay. Isn't that epic? They meant it like treasure, but if you really think it's fun, then... That's Jason's method? Yeah. Jason's Spongebob in the episode where he doesn't go outside with his friend Chip and napkin and penny but instead of chip napkin and penny it's reese connor and tanner jason is just me but male that might be the worst thing you've ever said about yourself Oh. I cannot attack that target. You can say worse, don't. Don't. Yeah, Jason calling his doctor. On stream. He was cosplaying a normal person. Yeah. Yeah, he had two monsters the other day and he said it just made him sleepier. When the, when the stimulant makes you sleepy, is that the ADHD? Is that the ADHD special? He would mute when he would give his full name and date of birth. I'm actually surprised he muted, actually. I'm very surprised he muted. Tan not Tanner. Jason usually just hands that shit out. It's weird. He's such a private person, but he will literally just hand out his full name sometimes. And again, we've talked about it. I don't think your full name is anything super special, but I wouldn't, like, fucking... I wouldn't, like, fucking hand it out, either. What? Tim typing pancake in chat? What are you talking about? I'm sleepy all the time recently. I don't know what's going on. Sick maybe? Hope not.
Booty Bay is under attack. Oh no. Maybe my body clock becoming normal? I think maybe not normal. It's called depression? No, I take pills for that. Have I ever told my chat the Kai origin story? I think so. I think I have. How goes the WoW grind? It's awesome. It's so awesome. It's so good. Oh shit. When you feel cold at 74 degree house, I think you're... <laughs> yeah. He made me a chicken pet. And I got a pet achievement. So it gave me this feral vermling. Oh, look! 250 unique pets. And I got a robot. PCs can have this out forever. Look! We got a little chicken. And he's edgy. Shadow the Hedgehog chicken. Awesome. Okay, back to Stormwind. Can you name pets? Yeah. Can you name him? It depends on what you want to name him. There he is, in better... In better lighting. Oil? You, you want his name to be Oil? Canola oil? Can I, I'm kind of rocking with canola oil. There we go. And there he is, canola oil. Alrighty, keep him back up. Hopefully this time we can get a group that knows what they're doing. Ugh, my nose is running. Dying, perhaps? We're almost level 28. We need to be level 50. We got a long way to go, guys. We got a long way to go. Shit. Do, are there more? Or is this... No, surely there's more, like 500 unique pets. 400. That's a lot of pets. You get Venus. I need 150 more. Shit. Maybe I'm a woman now? I don't think so. Could I get the Dark Moon Fair buff? I thought that was just reputation. Wait, is that XP too? Hello. See you later. Is that the X? It's XP? I thought it was rep! Oh no! I literally thought it was just rep. I've been, I've been wasting XP. Give me this fucking bird. Let's go. Hey, Google Pox. Does Sky even play this game? Apparently not. Fuck me. Well, we get to go to the Darkmoon Fair. There it is. It's the fair. Going here like 10 years ago? Yep. It's, uh, if you can believe it, barely changed in those 10 years. I'm not really sure why. I need to get some ride tokens. Do your Darkmoon Fair monthlies? What, for the... Yeah, what do you want? For the... 
the the moose. You want the moose? Oh, I didn't buy ride tickets, I bought game tokens. Feth. Look at this place, isn't it fun here? Oh, look how fun it is here. Wow. What the hell is this? Is this new? How are you? At least new for me? Oh shit, my Q popped. No, I got game tokens and not ride tickets. Where do I get the ride tickets? I don't remember. I thought it was like over like right here somewhere. Whatever. The panda in front of the place? Really? What place? There's so many places. Carousel? Fuck. I can do this though. Stay low. They haven't spotted us yet. Wait, from her? Oh, hello. Oh Come fuck. <gasps> Alright, Murloc, I read the mark I ride Murloc. Yep. How do I know I've done enough? I can't see my buffs. Where'd they go? You have to ride this for a set amount of time. Where'd my buffs go? Can I target myself? My health bar's under here. I can't click on me. Surely that's enough. Yeah. Slash instance, my B. Wow, carnival rides, this game rules, yeah. At least they didn't pull the boss. Phew! And they didn't kick me. There we go, the DPS actually looks good on this chart. Thank goodness. I should be dealing the least. However, our rep paladin's doing poo poo pee pee, but that's okay. That's why I don't like having this charts up, because it makes me toxic about how good my grips are doing. If I turn it off, then I can kind of just ignore it. You got exalted with Darkwind Fair, didn't know there was a carousel? The carousel's important, it gives you your XP buff. Or your rep buff. I thought it was only rep until just now. It changes a man. Love getting trailers for a game that's two years out. Yeah. Can't wait to play Rogue Trader on stream with my best friend Tanner. He's this mustache streamer. Guys, I've had a mustache for like a week. It's just like more of a mustache. Do they have go-karts? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I was going to say I'm not sure if the 2004 engine could handle it, but I think it could. You'll never play long-term RPGs with anyone ever again. I'll rip your throat out, Tanner.
I can't believe it was experience this whole time. I thought it was just fucking rep. I did fucking... I did fucking 17 levels without the 10% boost. I could be like level 35. Coltier on tank looks just as dumb as Mechan on tank. Wow, he sure is taking a lot of damage. Jesus. They have a concert with a mosh pit? Yeah, they have Elite Tour and Chieftain playing. Making some PC's progress though. Level 28, that's pretty good. I am hoping to get to 50 before the XP bonuses go away. Gonna go watch a movie? What movie? It better be Godzilla or I'm gonna be mad. Wait, why is this guy taking so much damage? Oh, he's level 10. He's level 10. He doesn't have all of his good tank moves yet. Honestly, I'm not even sure if he can tank. He probably barely has taunt. Runs away without answering? What could you possibly be seeing in the theaters right now that's not Godzilla? There's nothing else out worth seeing. movie has like a 500 out of 10 on IMDb. It's like the top third rated, highest rated film on IMDb in fucking a decade or something. Or not IMDb. Tomatoes? Rotten Tomato? You want to see Wonk? You know? I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it. PC's time? Yeah, Tyrion. If you want to come play... You're welcome to come play. If you just want to level up a character, I don't care what level they are. Gotta go peep Napoleon? Yeah, for its historical accuracy. You got a healer? I'm already healing. We got- PCs is a healer. PCs is a mistweaver. He- he only knows how to- How to fight with his healing mist. He doesn't fight at all, actually. He loves. He's a he's a lover. But not in the sensual kind. In the kind where he like really likes he really likes um Eastern culture. You have a lot of alliance tunes you need to level? You're welcome to come play too. What tank would I be IRL? Seemed like a Wait, you meant like actual tank? Um, I don't know that many tanks. I don't know almost any, actually. I don't play World of Tanks. I would learn a whole lot about them if they gave me a sponsorship. There. Okay, I was thinking about this earlier. How come World of Warships and, and World of Tanks have, like, Raid Shadow Legends money? Who plays those? I'm not say saying they're bad or anything, but like, where do they get this money to sponsor every video on YouTube? Like, I don't get it. A lot of people play it? I mean, apparently. I don't know a single one, though. Tank girl dating sim? Hold up. Maybe I do need to learn about tanks. Your cousin's scout group? What? Like, boy scout? Girl scout? The EU player base? Oh, I bet the Russians and the Brits fuck up some World of Tanks, you're right. A 
This guy's level 10. This is hurting me. Your Navy co-worker plays World of Warships? He plays that in real life. He a whale? I'm glad my taxpayer money is going to World of Warships. Your cousins made you eat raw snake meat? What the fuck? What's wrong with them? I haven't known that many military personnel, like, personally. Um, but the ones that I have known all just play video games all the time, so that's where your taxpayer money is really going. Why are we getting cooked in this dungeon, too? No, I know why. It's because our tank is level 10, he has no mitigation. Level 11, he's goaded now, never mind. 80% of them are on Tarkov. Let's go. The military men love to play Tarkov. It allows them to kill the Russians like they've always dreamed. Let's blow up the barrels. I'll heal through it. I can do it. Let's let's see. Actually, she's not even gonna make it, is she? Yeah, blow up this. You released it into the sewers? Isn't that what you're not supposed to do? Like, you're not supposed to let, like, big animals out in places like that? What- Because aren't a lot of pythons and stuff, like, invasive? Like, they were released by people already? Tanner walked barefoot through the fucking Florida Everglades. He said, found me a swamp puppy, yoink. I like how the, the penultimate and an ultimate boss are right next to each other. There's like one pull in between them. That's pretty good. Yeah, you see how much faster this dungeon was than the last one? Because our DPS actually deal damage. That last one was so rough. I was working way too hard. The tank didn't use any of her damage mitigation, and the DPS didn't deal damage. Like, look at this boss, it's dead. Cool. Another level for PCs, 29. Goaded. This is Kansas, though. We have snakes normally. But what about, like, fucking... What about, like... Pythons. I got it back on the Murloc. Actually, I want to go ride the roller coaster. Where's the roller coaster? How do I... Where's the entrance? It's probably this. Was the roller coaster always open? I swear this thing was like under construction for a while. And am I remembering that right? Is this drop going to be big enough to carry me up the rest of it? I don't think so. Whee! Now this is awesome. How are we going up? This is breaking my immersion. There's no chain noise here. The backwards wild roller coaster, it does seem backwards. Like the big drop is at the end.
there's literally magic in this world? Yeah, but this isn't a part of it. The gnomes and goblins are known for using literal technology and engineering. There's no magic part of it. We're off the rails. We're gonna die. Yeah, this thing seems backwards. They just need to flip it around and then it makes sense. Okay, well, that was great. Thanks. Thanks, Blizzard. That's a good one. Look at the litter. That's a good point, actually. What the fuck? What's going on here? And I'm literally shorter than this Draenei child. Literal child. She's taller than me. It's just like real life. Yo, who's this? Oh, it sits so cute. Look at it sit. Cute. Um, did anyone else want to come play? Tyrion wanted to come play. I, I think this is, Tyrion, is this you? Um, you could join in your warlock. Okay. Um, here, you can add me, hold on. Uh, uh, oh, that's me, that's me. You would? I mean, if you can make an allied race, they start at level 10. So then, you can just do that. Pissology? There's no way. There's no way your name is Pissology. Sophic and Pissology. This is goaded. All your two names are awful. Good for you. Tychondrius? What what realm is Tychondrius? Dumpster Baby is a your main? That's a main name? Oh Christ. Our group is not viable. I'm the healer. I can actually swap the damage. Hold on. We can get PCs on that DPS if you want to heal. That's cool with me. I haven't played Windwalker in a long time. I'm sure it's going to go great. Can't wait. Didn't hit DPS too late. You're a healer now. Enjoy. Okay, good enough. It's a world that's made of Warcraft. All of that is true. Where's my um spinning crane kick? 
Uh huh. I don't need provoke. Anything else that I need to slot? These are really all the damaging abilities I have. That's kind of wild. Shit, okay. Let's get after it. I missed it. Did we explain what Tychondrius, what kind of realm Tychondrius is? The largest NA West server. But, like, does it have a reputation? Is it a bad reputation? <laughs> Look, here's our good friend Pissology's over here somewhere. Supposedly. Wait, where the hell are you? You're supposed to be right here. What? The former biggest PvP server on NA? Oh shit. Now that I'm DPS, I'm definitely turning the DPS chart off. We don't need to see it. Is this battle for, uh, for nope, that's the freehold, not the Siege of Boralus. The first boss of this place shits on you. It's a guy who rides a big parrot and it, it shits on you. You're in a different time walking phase than us? Okay, get owned. Wait, does that mean you can't... No, you're here. Too far away. I'm out of range. Crispy's one level from getting their heritage armor. Good for them. I never liked Monk's, like, visual effects for Windwalker. Like, Rising Sun Kick and Blackout Kick have two different colors. It's like they're not cohesive. Time for the first boss so we can stop shitting on us. Feather cloak. Why is it black? Okay. Let's take a look at Pissology. What's she rocking? Okay. This is the mog you're rocking. You guys can't see it because of the chat, but Pissology is wearing nothing. You can't mog most of it? That's a pretty... That's an excuse and a half.
A hunter main? Good night, next bites. What was that noise? It's probably me going. My nose is really runny. I don't know what's going on. Ugh. Boss went and pulled something. Uh, they put a barrel on my head. Oh my god, that was so scary. I couldn't see anything. Well, I didn't do shit that fight. I got barreled. Yeah, here's Pissology. Here you go. There she is. Very naked. No shoes? No way. No shoes? What's going on with you? Oh. Let's go, PCs. PCs be punching and stuff. I never liked the way Blood Elf women look. They're so... thin. They're so spindly. The Blood Elf men have bigger titties. Oh, it's Sophic. Sophic's cute, look. Oh, wow. Okay, well, then you turn into that. What the fuck is that? And entering the ring we have the amazing, the incredible, the magnificent, the... What, 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 the really? It's a grease stuff, hey? I'm beginning I hate this fucking repeats. This shit fucking takes a long ass time. Grab the pig. Quick. Quick. Nice job. Well, look at that. They caught a pig. Maybe we should move on to a more threatening challenge. From the sewers of Freehold comes a Tortolan brigand who makes it his duty. Do we have to fight the giant, the guy with the shark hands, or is it random? Oh, they sure hyped that guy up. He's dead. We killed him. Cute turtle. We just punched his skull in. No wonder everybody skips this boss. This takes fucking forever. You spent half the dungeon listening to this fucking guy talk.
train. Damn. PC's kind of goes off. Holy. PC's kind of going off. Okay, PC's. Let's check it. P Pissology popped off. Oh my goodness. Pissology bringing out the fucking damage. Holy. Okay, PCs are still second. We'll take it. Holy shit. Where's the pissology damage coming from? Is that that level 15 buff or, or Warlock's really strong right now? Power infusing pissology? Well, you're power infusing the wrong person. Because PCs is really powerful. Like, really powerful. Okay. We're so fast, we're doing it up. Think you can stand against me, I hate Monk. I hate this fucking class. I don't know a single person who mains a monk. Sput does? Christ. There's no way. Sput mains a monk? Oh my god. New ability unlock Zen Flight? Goaded. Oh, fucking mother load. Ba ba ba. Yeah. Crispy wants to keep going? She didn't even go get her heritage armor. I would have been excited. I must get closer. I zap with lightning. Does two damage. She's just gonna pull everything. That's okay. Because PC's on the DPS, so we'll be able to kill everything real quick. We got the PC's DPS. I didn't remember I'm DPS now, I actually have to interrupt stuff. Only 20 more levels of PCs, we're getting there. Oh shit, they interrupted my big damage move. Oh, they interrupted me again. I kept getting stunned. I 
was annoying. I do not have a target. Fucking PCs, this thing's gonna be on my account forever. Sinitri, thanks for the sub. I do think their the Mecha Gnome Heritage Armor is actually makes them slightly palatable. So Let's go PCs, punch him. The spot really main monk? What spec? Windwalker? I didn't know Spot even played retail. Monk, that is disgusting. Is he at least a Pandaren? So at least it doesn't look like shit. He used to heal. Yeah, Windwalker is probably their most fun spec, maybe, but. Or not Windwalker, uh, it's Mistweaver. But. I don't know. Oh, a lot of levels. Wait, she leveled up again? How? She got the fucking XP potions going? She leveled up at the very beginning of the pull, when she, when she pulled the first pack. We did one boss and she already leveled again? Or maybe she leveled at the end of the last dungeon? And I'm misremembering? But still... I don't see any XP potions going. That's crazy. I must get closer. Too far away. Let's go boss time. What is this? Big rock? Have to fight a big rock? Anybody watch the new H Bomber Guy video? That was fucking crazy. That was crazy. I had never heard of James Summerton before, but dude is getting molecularly deconstructed on Twitter and YouTube right now. He plays a Void Elf? Void Elf? 
Oh, Spot. Only you could play something so foul. Got halfway through, it's a trip. Uh, I just listened to it in one sitting while I was, I think, playing other stuff. I think I was leveling PCs. Dude is like a serial plagiarist, liar, and overall disgusting thing. I don't know. Were any of y'all familiar with him and his content before this? Because I sure wasn't. Dispel this polymorph right now. Dispel this polymorph right now. Thank you. Um, if no one's familiar with what I'm talking about, uh, YouTuber H Bomber Guy uploaded a video about plagiarism um, on YouTube, and it's a four-hour-long video, and two hours of it are dedicated to deconstructing a YouTuber, James Summerton, who's like um, he's like a a queer YouTuber who's like kind of whole thing is like making video essays on predominantly like. LGBTQ related content and kind of expanding like awareness and stuff about it which I think is a good goal and, and that's and he was one of like the bigger names on that kind of thing on YouTube supposedly um, but he's just been lying and plagiarizing for almost his entire career which uh, does a very large disservice uh, to every other gay content creator um, by siphoning away the views that would go to them when he's just stealing content. Um, he said some really awful things in his videos about like, I don't know, like gay people in general, which I found was wild actually. He also, I think is a misogynist. But as a guy who's, is like a, like as a, you know, like a gay creator, it seems wild that he would say like, some of the things that he had said. Like he went on a record saying, I think he might have been quoting someone else, but he was, okay, like he, he was plagiarizing someone else's statement and using it as his own, but the statement was still wild. It was something about like, how all of the interesting gay men had died of the during the AIDS epidemic, so only the boring ones were left, and that's why like like a lot of like gay content had declined, because all of the like interesting gays died of AIDS. Only the rule follower ones were left. I was like, wait, what the hell is that statement? James said that. Yeah, James Summerton, the gay man, said that. That in the 90s, only the boring gays were left. The ones who only wanted gay marriage and military rights and didn't want to, like, do anything else for the gay movement. He, he, he said that as his own opinion. He stole it from someone else. But, yeah. I thought it was fucking crazy. I couldn't believe it. Come on over here, Crispy. You gotta get on the barrels. Uh-oh, he doesn't know. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, the dude seems like a total shill. Um, it's, like, crazy how, like, he seems to have completely co-opted a movement that he belongs to for profit. While also stealing from other people who share his space. The entire time. Oh, I don't think I can make it there in time. <laughs> I made it. Not to mention completely disrespecting all of his viewers. Who also predominantly are probably gay or LGBTQ related.
we did it. Triple levels, Pog. Yeah. Think to try to get his patrons to to side, but didn't work. When I looked at his Patreon t earlier this morning, um, because another video essayist came out just to debunk all of the misinformation that James puts in his video, unrelated to H Bomber guy. H Bomber guy was about James stealing. Another guy came out with a video about his misinformation and blatant lying. Um, yeah, Todd. Um. But yeah, it wasn't even another video essayist. Apparently Todd is a fucking music reviewer. Um, yeah, James made some wild claims about how um, Americans signed up, like most American men signed up in World War II um, to prove to the Germans that they could beat them because they were jealous of the Nazi um, machismo and perfect bodies. Is he, isn't he also trying to say that anyone agree, that disagrees with him is homophobic? Yeah, I mean, but that's the classic, unfortunately. As much as that's kind of a stereotype, at least among, like, social media, that's the classic. I don't know, he said a bunch of wild things. If you really want to see a guy who's completely just fucking saying shit out of his ass and people believe it, go watch Todd's video on it. On James Summerton, it was it was actually crazy the kind of shit that he would say. You're trying to claim that most of the officers in the SS were gay. How is that possible? There's no, they weren't. They literally weren't. These caves must lead to the legendary I must get closer. Didn't even finish that section yet. It's about the two hour mark. He he gets into this video is about James Summerton, and it's like you're two hours into a four hour video, and he finally gets to the fucking actual main guy he's trying to make a video about. Yeah, James Summerton is getting deconstructed. He deactivated his Twitter, and um, is, is he just stealing hot takes reviews? Not really. He's specifically making videos aimed at a gay audience or a queer audience. Um, but then he's stealing all of the information that's in them, or just making it up. But I thought it was wild. He had, you know, a few hundred thousand subs on YouTube, would regularly get millions of, like, over a million views on some of his videos. Um, tens of thousand dollars a month on Patreon. All stolen, all made up. I thought it was wild. And, like, verifiably stolen and made up. It's not like these guys are pulling it out of their ass. He had an ego, but wasn't rancid. Yeah, I mean, he kind of comes off as super pretentious to me. Um, but, yeah. Wild. Deactivated his Twitter, deactivated his Patreon. Uh, they nu he nuked his own Discord. Um, I'm surprised his YouTube channel still has everything on it. Because he, he's been nuking his presence. He might just try to just disappear. Which, honestly, in his place, that's what I would do. There's no coming back from it. Deactivated comments? Yeah. But there's no coming back from it. Because I think at this point, his YouTube channel is going to stop being able to earn revenue. Because I'm sure it's, like... Surely YouTube is going to come out and demonetize everything on his channel. So he just has to disappear. You, you there's don't make a statement, don't do anything. Just just disappear. The thing that kills me is like literally his content could be the exact same. He could have done everything the same. Just don't make shit up and just credit everybody. There's nothing wrong with just saying, "Yeah, you don't have to have any of your own original ideas." Just literally, just cite everything. Your content could have been identical. Just say, yeah, in this article that I read, here's this. This person said this. It, you literally don't have to... You don't have to make an original idea. Just form your own argument, but then all of the research can be done by other people. It's fine. 
that's that's part of what academia is about. You just form your own arguments while basing your evidence from others. Like, other people give you the pieces, you just assemble them. So, like, it would have been okay for him to do that, but no, he had to make he just didn't want to cite anything and, and make it that it was his own thoughts. It's not that hard as someone who's gone through academia. Most of making argumentative essays and, and papers is literally just putting the pieces together. You create the hole at the end, but everyone else gives you the pieces. That's kind of the point. The PCs, yeah. I need to target something first. Yeah, I thought it was wild. Guy's totally a hack. Made a, made a good chunk of change doing it too. I'd respect the hustle if it wasn't so abhorrent. Especially because he's like, you know, like a a gay man himself. Like, he doesn't respect his audience, who's predominantly gay. He doesn't respect, respect the people in his community who are predominantly gay. Or, like, any of the people who, like, made the foundation for the movement he's supposedly championing. It's kind of, it's wild. The internet train wrecks? Oh, it's a train wreck. I mean, the guy's... In the past few days, he's gotten completely deconstructed. Do we have to, like, stand on these? Looks like it. H-Bomber guy, if you don't... If you're not familiar with him, go watch his video on the Roblox oof sound. That's another guy getting deconstructed. Yeah, the Roblox oof... H bomber guy video is a classic. It's his last video from last year. He makes like one video a year where he just deconstruct somebody. The process of Roblox oof. That's a goaded video. It's one of my favorite videos of all time on YouTube. That it's just an insane video. I couldn't believe it. Do you think he'd make an apology? What are you gonna apologize for? There's too much intent behind like Summerton's actions for it to have a an actual, like, heartfelt apology. Sorry, guys, I've been lying and stealing for years and knowing it. There's no, there's no shot he could actually make an apology video that anyone would accept. No one would believe it. There's too much intent. Stealing and lying are things that you can't do by accident. So, yeah, no one, there's no apology you can make that would actually be acceptable. Yeah, Sai never wanted to make this video. Yeah, that's how it would be, too. Yeah, Sai, I never meant to get caught, guys. I must get closer. I need to target something first. Ah, what manner of beast is this? These dungeons are going so much faster than they were before. I don't know if it's because... I think it's pissology. I was gonna say I think it's because PCs is on DPS, but that's not true. I think it's pissology is on DPS. Pissology is fucking nasty with it. I saw a video on Twitter earlier of a bunch of English guys like on some war front somewhere. I don't know when or where, if it was contemporary. But it was a bunch of British dudes. They got like fucking, like they were all just shooting the shit like in a foxhole. And like someone shot an RPG at them. It went over their heads and it was the most British thing I'd ever seen the way they reacted to nearly getting hit with an RPG. Fucking hell. RPG. It was so funny actually. I couldn't believe it. They sounded amused and scared. That I think that's probably normal, though. As a soldier, I think that's kind of which how you gotta be. I need to target something first. 
I think that's the normal part. It's just how they sounded was funny. Just the fucking British amusement. The most British thing I've ever heard. Nearly got hit with an RPG. Crispy, there's a big worm attacking us. Cr crispy. Crispy, big worm. Oh, I think she turned around. But there's another big worm. Oh, don't worry. I got this one. Let's go, PCs. Let's go. So many wiggling worms, yeah. Warlocks? That's a fun class. Warlock. Pretty fun class. Hey, Hezrol, can you turn us into balls of light and send us down the chute? Thanks, bro. Now we have to fight Big Thing. Hey, Hezreal, can you make this guy vulnerable to damage? Hey, Hezreal. Hey, Hezreal, can you make this guy vulnerable to damage? Hezreal? Thanks, bro. Hezreal, can you do it again? Thanks, Hezreal. Ow. I didn't think I was standing on anything, but I think I was. My bad, Tyrion. Well, we did it. Wouldn't let you cast? What are you wearing? It's got hip cutouts. That's cute. Wait, they're giant hip cutouts. Oh my goodness. GG, guys. Have a good one. I love you. With an at instead of an exclamation point because I missed the one. Time to sleep. Peace. DPS boss to make it spew blood, kill the blood to take away its HP. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. I gotta get back on the carousel. <gasps> you started playing WoW in BFA? I started playing WoW in, um, Vanilla. <laughs> you were playing Neopets when WoW came out? It's pretty goaded. Interesting. Fuck, I hate this ugly character. We're so close to being done. This 
Standing near the edge of the carousel gave you EXP. What? You're playing Neopets now? Did retail get a lot of hate when it was released? I mean, technically, no. Because it was not retail then. It was... There wasn't a difference between retail and classic. Retail started getting hate when Cataclysm came out. And then it never really stopped. Because, like, retail is the same game that came out in 2004 without just been updated since then. They just call it retail because now WoW Classic is out, so they have to distinguish between the two. Because you're BFA baby, you prefer retail over classic? I mean, I'm a classic baby, but I prefer retail over classic. It's worth like 20 million Neopets. How much is it worth in dollars? The dress is vestments of shifting sands. From Encourage? PCs is looking pretty good in it. Oh guys, look, they added a mount this month to the trading post. It's a fox. It's cute. It's red. It's for Christmas. Cause it look look at its jump. That's really cute. It looks about to dive into a snowbank. I think there's a flying fox mount, but I don't remember um reminds you of Fennec Fox? You should see the fox race. Yeah, there's a f you have 693 mounts? Holy fuck. How is that possible? Um, I think I do- That's the Sylvanas mounts, that thing's so cool. Um, there's a fox- I don't remember what it's called, there is a flying fox mount though. It's not this one. It, it, oh, it's the Vulpine Familiar, right? This thing? I think this one flies. I don't like it as much as this the, the one I'm on now, though. This one is red. You gave up other play, keep playing other games for WoW? I just fit WoW in, because I don't need to play it that much. Emerald Welt prices, 10k, not 50k? Christ. The other day on a whim, I got the fucking collector's edition of the War Within, because I think this dragon riding mount is cool. I said, yeah, I'll take that. And I have another character boost on my account that I won't use. I have I have had a level 60 boost for over a year on my account. For buying Dragonflight. You made your griffin naked, and your raid team doesn't like it? Why not? That's cute. Got a big old bear. Holy. What's this? Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any, like... DPS cooldowns yet. So I think that might be one. 
Oh, we just fucking started the boss. Holy. Guys, I was looking at my talents. The snakes sound so handsome. I wish you could play as them so bad. I wish I could be a handsome snake. I could only be one figuratively. Already are. What the? I'm not a snake. I kind of wish monks could only, like, only Pandaren could have been monks. It doesn't really work with any other race. It looks goofy. Agent Rizzler? Tanner doesn't need to riz me up. He's always had my heart. Remember last time we did this when that level 10 mage showed up at during this boss fight and fucking one shot the boss? He killed her in like fucking two hits. That snake in Fortnite. Tanner likes to show up in Fortnite and buy skins of characters he likes and then not play the game. Did I see Riz is Oxford's word of the word of the year? Yeah, I thought that was crazy. Tanner, he has Kelsier, he has Isaac Clark, he has Snake. They just make skins for Tanner characters, and then he just doesn't play the game. Even playing it since no build, he just don't play solo. What girl has you playing Fortnite, Tanner? Don't do him like that? Oh, I'm being serious. Just like there's only one reason he plays Valorant. I respect the hustle. Bro, the boys pop off in the night? Really? The boys play Fortnite? Which ones? I thought Jason fucking hates Fortnite. No, but he's not the only boy. There are other boys. The only way I could get Valorant is if a girl asked me to. For sure, for sure. But no kitten wants, um, no kitten wants a guy who can't carry. I'd be bottom fragging. What did I say? What do you mean? That's why you go to ePals and pay them to play with you, hypothetically? Yeah. Tanner, one of these days, banger video. Banger, banger video idea, okay? When, you know, on our YouTube channels that we have, you know? We go and just hire women on ePals, hypothetically. Jason already did that. I don't remember him actually doing that. Jason doesn't have any money to spend on women on ePals. He did it live? I literally don't remember this. He did that? Was she nice? When did he do this? It had to have been years ago, back when he had money. 
the the Papa John's bag. Stream needs to be more festive. You're right. I'll, I'll, get a, I'll get a Santa hat to wear um, until the end of the month. How about that? That would be so hot. I don't want to do that. Do you think ePal still exists? Is it a real thing that still exists? Or do I just have to like go on Reddit and find a girl who would accept my money to play uh, World of Warcraft with me? It does exist? Wow. Do you think they actually make money? What's ePals? You can pay women to play video games with you. Or men? Who the fuck would do that? You could find a, a man to play video games with you for free. A woman would a woman would just have to ask me, and I'd fucking play with her. No money required. Okay. Saving up for an all-day package. Yes, sir. Six hundred dollars for ten hours. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! They're getting a bag. <laughs> Wonder how much the company keeps for being the broker. Holy shit. Hold on, guys. I'm downloading a voice changer. I'm switching careers. I could I be an e-girl with the best of them. Getting on e-pals to get a raid team for last wish. Holy shit. Don't worry, guys. I'll pick this up. I'll, I'll, I'll start kicking it around. Takes a man to be the best girl. True. Well, I get a girlfriend when I can pay a girl five dollars for thirty minutes of emotional support. I think at this point, Tanner, you should just be one of those people that hires prostitutes, but only to talk to them and just have them hold you. I think at that point, that's what you should be doing if you're paying an ePal for it. You know. You'd put her to work. Hey, can you stop chopping these willows for me? What the hell is going on? We're talking about e-pals. Get full Armadale by the end of the night. Yeah, and you know, here's God's War's dungeon. You just have to put on a uh, protect from range. Us gamer boys are going through it. We need the e-pals. Have you not known of ePals until today? I don't think it's that known. I'll be honest. I've never heard it outside of my friend group. And now y'all know it. RuneScape isn't a category on there? Well, Tanner, there was that RuneScape streamer I showed you that one time. There's other websites for it. Hypothetically, what would those be? I do not have a target. Sugar Baby website. Wait a sec, is that for people looking for sugar babies or people who are l trying to be sugar daddies? Both? What is a streamer other than a one way e pal? That's a little different. Both? Hold on a sec, guys.
What do sugar babies do? I mean, at this... Honestly, they do whatever they're told. <laughs> they're being paid to live. Being paid to do whatever they're told. They're given the soft life in return for goods and services. That's a very say-so way of putting it. I mean, it's not untrue. <laughs> yeah, Battle Buddies is what all the dads fucking queue up on. Like, why can't we be snakes? Look how pretty she is. Look at her. Why can't we be this snake lady? Why is she wearing a bra? She doesn't have nipples. At least I don't think she does. The snitties? I don't know about that. Surely Sethrak are up there with the most requested, um, most requested race. It's gotta be Sethrak and Tuskar and Ogres. And maybe Knolls? What else? And Gnomes? Gnomes are already in the game. I'm talking about races that aren't in the game that people want. Like, non-playable races. That we want to be playable. Sethrak, Tuskar, Ogres. Some people I've seen say Gnolls. Murlocs? That's been a pipe dream forever. I don't think that one's ever happening. No Murloc has been shown to be able to speak. They're not, like, evolved enough. Imagine what a murloc civilization would be. Maybe one day. Maybe when Azeroth's world soul is born into a titan, she'll uplift the murloc people. Oh. A new weapon. What does it look like? Oh, that's cool. How funny would that be to just have a character that makes murloc noises during important dialogues and cutscenes? Oh, your character never makes noises in cutscenes. But all of their jokes and everything would just be murloc noises. Murlocs would be awesome. It would be awesome. And the female and male warlocks would have no- there'd be no distinguishing between them. At all. They would look identical. It's purely a label for other people to look at you, you know, it's an identification thing. They're actually very gender forward, the Murlocs. It would be hilarious, but they're like so difficult to model for, like, they have really spindly limbs and no real torso, they're just kind of a, a they're like Mike Wazowski, they have like a, they just make like, I mean, they're just like a big mouth with eyeballs on it, you know? I hate this dungeon. It's fast, though. It's very ugly. Have a target. 
something first. He works for Blizzard, so I'm sure they'll listen to him. Yeah. For sure. Tell them specifically that I want to play Bull Murlocs. I'm sure he's never heard that before. I am out of range. They just races and so, and allied races just kind of print money every time they add them. So I think they just need to keep adding more. And ones that people actually like. Like I know there's probably four people excited for the Earthen in the World Within, but like that isn't one that people were definitely wanting to get. Everyone in the guild is Murlocs. I mean, that'd be awesome. I, must get closer. I can't imagine it. It'd be awesome. Did you ask him if there are female ogres in the game? There are not. But they do have models on the wiki. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, we've never seen a female ogre. Like, how do they reproduce? We. I'm not even sure if there's confirmation that they even exist. His subtitle is the Salty Dog. He's that's so cute. Look at him. Come on, boys. Show them why this is our block. Models on the wiki are official. Oh shit. Be honest. Does she have the the ogre biddies? Is she proportioned how she should be as an ogre woman? Gotta be. Gotta make that clear. Wait, what's... I was gonna say, what's fighting us right now? Well done. Looks like you have things under control. We'll Hearthstone based? Hearthstone is a good place, a good source of um, WoW knowledge. She's not proportioned how an ogre woman should be? What the fuck? No. Oh, that's an ancient model. Imagine- I can imagine it. I can see the vision. In like- 2023, if they had it with the current art style, I can see the vision. I require a target. Yeah, people have been wanting ogres on the horde forever. Our man Joel is fucking sprinting through the dungeon. Pissology, you have to put clothes on. Pissology, it's up to you. It's clothes time, I think. Where's my HP? I don't think I stood in anything. Where did it go? We've secured the prisoners and established a perimeter. The lower levels belong to us. He's a pancake in Fortnite, yeah. I would say Fortnite has to have people as pancakes, but no, they've made some very thick women characters. So they just don't like men to be thick. It's not their place, I guess. I need to target. 
But like everyone knows Penny from Fortnite, so and only for one reason. Will the world be ready for thick men? Never. As long as uh, the right wing, the political spectrum exists. Never. They'll always hold us back. Psychology, why is your why is your succubi so tiny? Why is he so short? I can't wait to see you melt. Too far away. You have no clue? All your demons are tiny? Is it a glyph? Tiny demons? It's gotta be a glyph. No? What the you ever played Minecraft? I have, yeah. Guys, I'm old enough to have been in the Minecraft, like, fucking alpha. I hope you can heal through this, because we're not doing the mechanics. Yeah, I was playing Minecraft when I was a freshman in high school. Back when, like, the very first playable builds were available. Back in, you know, 2010. <laughs> Demon Scott size scales with level? There's no way that's true. You meant to play? Oh, you meant to stream not to play? Um, I don't know, it's a chill game. The thing about Minecraft is I get bored real easy. There's not enough... I need to be extrinsically motivated in a game. It, if they just put me in a sandbox and just tell me to do whatever I want, I'm like, okay, well, I need a bit more guidance than that. Demons are smaller for low levels? That's ri That's true? What purpose does that serve? Because, like, look how big the dogs that she summons are. This guy's getting his ass beat. Oh my goodness. Beat him up. Holy shit. I never miss. Oh, there he goes. We leveled up. 35. Holy. We're zooming. Mythic plus 20? This dungeon? That would be miserable. Is it only wifey left after PCs? Yup. I'm not sure if we'll make it though. Because I think the double XP ends at the in a couple days. Not the double XP, the 19% boost. So we can get PCs there, but my wife is probably going to have to done be done without it. She grew up, she's a little bigger now. She's taller than PCs. Me and the wife.
Don't take her away from me. You just de-summoned my wife. You just sent my wife back to the Twisting Nether. That was my wife. Bring her back. Thank you. I can't believe they get away with this model. The Succubi model. That's crazy. They added an Incubus. Yeah, the Incubus is wild. They added an Incubus real, really recently. I always liked her racing flames. For speed. You have another one? Oh shit, she's really tiny too. Wait, is this one a pet? A sister of temptation? That's crazy. All your battle pets are named cat and all your hunter pets are named dog. What's, what's going on with you? What the hell is that? Oh, this is a fast dungeon. This one's fast as fuck. As long as our good friend Blue Zoom in. Fuck was that? Oh, I just earned a bunch of titles for hitting level 35, because I've officially done, like, Legion. The fuck is Dazar? Oh, they're trying to resurrect the troll king. Yeah. The first emperor. I forgot about that. I'll send it in X. Do you just call Twitter X? I must get closer. We're fighting a Tyrannosaurus. How does PCs fight this? Look how giant it is. Is this the one we all tried to do and failed like 10 times in a row? Huh? Oh! Yeah, it is. That a mecha dino? No, he's actually a zombie dino. And I will venerate you above all Loa. Reese was not happy. Am I ever? I'm only ever happy when I got the e pal in the Discord call. Every other time, I'm not. DB, I'm not giving you devour warning. My DBM didn't go off either. Wait, I thought that was the tank standing right next to me. Why is this thing beating my ass? Yeah, I, I love... I, I live for the e-pal calls and that's it. Don't pull these, don't pull these. We can we can go around them. Don't pull... It's alright. It's alright. That's okay. Oh, skeletons! I always like these skeletal trolls, they look funny. Oh! A bird! It's cute, what the fuck? Wait, how can you- how did they get that color? Look at those cool wings. Is that normal? I didn't think- I don't remember seeing those customization options when I was doing it on Moonfeet. Fucking bird. Ow, I'm getting killed! I'm dead. Hello? 
Shield Bash, 1,200. What? Why are we being killed? Is the tank not taking aggro? What's happening? I got, I got hit at 1,200? I only have 6,300 HP. And I think it hit me more than that. I got fucking annihilated. Sorry, too fat? I don't think that was that fat. I feel like the tank isn't even... ...tanking. Because I had aggro instantly and the tank was alive. This guy's invincible until we go break his totem. That's not good. Bro, I'm fighting with my fucking life right here. Go PCs, you can tank through it, buddy. Okay, now I have to go fucking break this guy's totem. He ran away from me? Who, the tank? I mean, he's obviously a doofus. First. And they were gonna just fight that thing forever, huh? And they were just gonna let that fucking totem just live. Don't worry, I'll shoot lightning at it from afar. Don't worry. Well, this guy's really far, holy shit. Noob down. Tanner, I will snap your neck. Polly and no aggro. Oh, uh, so he's poo poo pee pee. Heard. Okay, we're doing it up. Ain't no creature on this earth that can survive an elbow strike to the kidney. No, bro. A swift one. A swift elbow strike. I'll see you soon, little pup. Yeah, yeah. That's what they all say. That's all, what all my e-pals tell me, and then they ghost me. They go see you soon, but the second that card declines, they're out. What the fuck is this? What the- Who are these guys? I'm getting killed! Look at the little chicken. Look at him go. He's cute. Didn't pay enough for the GFE experience. God. I'd pay anything, God. Just give me the... Just, just give me a sign. I just need to know which one to fucking, you know, give the bank account deets for. I've seen what you've given to others. <laughs> yeah. Fucking punching Coelophysis. Check your inbox. Your GFE voice pack is there too. What?
the PC's DPS is too strong. I think I've been taking aggro from him. Would I date a mechanome? Absolutely not. She would disgust me. Viscerally so. A normal gnome? Maybe. But a mechanome? Absolutely not. Monstrosity. Aberration. This guy doesn't want to pull. I'll just keep going. See ya, homie. Why am I in a, Why am I leading right now? <laughs> Homeboy's lost. Never done to Zara. Uh, the, the, the royal, the Atal to Zara. That's the one. Not into pinchy metal claws. Yeah. That's discriminatory? No. I'm allowed not to like mecha gnomes. That's allowed. Yeah, why is the DPS constantly getting hit in the skull? This guy is not tanking. I walk over there and the bird is getting clubbed over the head. This druid is grabbing aggro and like less damage than you? That's wild. Isn't he a warrior? Doesn't he just have to fucking... Where's the thunderclap? Use thunderclap. Holy shit, we're getting cooked. This guy does not know how to play. Oh no. PC's is doing his best. Thank you for healing. I'm alive. I haven't seen... Where were the thunderclaps? Surely he has it at level 29, right? He pulled without you? Well, not only that, he's about to pull again with the dead guy. He's not using any of his AoE aggro, um, aggro creators, his threat generators. He's just right-clicking on things and hitting taunt on the boss. Yo, she got a bad though. Dang, she she like golden and stuff. Oh, she's slurping on people. Holy fuck, she's sucking out their blood. Holy shit. Oh, a trinket. Cool. What does it do? Turn my hands into gold, cause my next auto attacks to deal damage. Oh, it's a fucking on use trinket? Okay. Back down we go. Jump? The Kyrian cloak thing that floats, that thing looks pretty cool. The thing that you're wearing. That looks pretty cool. Oh my god, it's pissology. Pissology, you have to put on clothes. Ow. The spider blew up on me. The tank is just gonna stand in that. Look at him. Oh! There he goes. P 
PC's is tiny, he can skirt the line. Let's go. What level are we? 36? We're making a lot of progress. We've got like 10 levels. I need to go back on the fucking carousel. Tank thinks DPS means you should. guys should take damage for a second. You're awake? That's so awesome, Strider, that you're awake. We're so happy to have you. This tank made you cry? Yeah, it made my dumbass cry. He didn't use a single thunderclap the entire time. Actually, I'm gonna... Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm logging out, but I'll be back. I have to check something. Druid had 2% damage on most fights? Uh-oh. That was a wacky group. I need to check something for my sanity. So, here's a protection warrior. What level does she get thunderclap at? Is it a talent? Did he not talent into thunderclap? It's a base talent. It's a base talent, and he didn't get it? Why would you not take Thunderclap? He had Whirlwind, he never used that either. No Whirlwind, no Thunderclap. My wife has Whirlwind at level 10, and I think at level, like, 15 or 16, she could have Thunderclap. Definitely a newbie in the queue, that's alright. That's alright. He'll learn. My wife looking kind of dripped with the Collector's Edition transmog. Peep the RuneScape channel, little pup. Tanner, don't make me fucking do something. How dare you, bitch. You got... Killed on your Darkwing Fair buff because he got us killed. Oh, I didn't die. That's PCs. Tanner, you fucking piece of filth. Let's go, Tanner. Armadil helmet. We're so back. Is that is that two piece? Is that a two piece, Tanner? You got two pieces? Do you just need the pantaloons now? Two? Count them. Two? Two piece? And you have a god sword? Piece? Or do you have the full god sword? What KC are you at? Ten levels from Heritage, yippee. I know, isn't that a yippee moment? Thirty-five KC, you got a full god sword and two of the fucking armor? I don't know if that's lucky or not. I know the drop rate's boosted, but like that seems lucky to me. It's like 1 127 for the armor. For the. Wait, really? Bye bye, thanks for playing Pissology. Well, back to it. I think I'll do a couple more. Yeah, PC's wife is gone, yeah, sent back to the fucking, um, 
sent back to the nether. This is the duality of the horde. You have these guys, and then you have this guy, also in the horde. That's the duality. You also have cows and rats. True. For Horde has all these like bestial races and then it has Barbie and Ken, which was very funny for a while. That they had the pretty race. Aku in the Horde, yeah. Like they had the prettiest race in the game for a long time. Night elves are kind of pretty. Night elf men are kind of monsters though. Draenei are also Night Elf men. Uh, Draenei men are too gigantic. Your main and main alts are all horde. Yeah, mine too. What? Is this safe? These queue times are getting a little longer. This guy's still here. Let's go see ETC. Let's go in the mosh pit. Oh, they're not performing right now. I'm lucky. Yo. Yo. Makes me miss Chumfi. It's a giraffe. It looks like a giraffe mixed with an Okapi. These cues! Where are the tanks at? I'd queue up his tank, but I do not like Brewmaster. I don't like the way they tank. It's annoying. Can I get in the cannon? As we hit these. Oh. I missed. Not this one again. Honestly, I hope our tank skips the fucking bring of the the shark puncher. Dichondrius is basically known as the toxic server. What the this is the same warrior? It's not. He was... I think he was a night elf. Oh, but this guy is lagging. This guy is teleporting everywhere. And I never see that, actually, so that's not good. My server, I'm on Thrall. H Horde always gets bopped in PvP on the server for some reason. We got our our skulls caved in very epically and bravely.
Whenever I do RPGs, I lose like two and three. It's pretty, uh, never lucky, you know? This is where, remember when I had the shark, the shark shoulder pad? This is where you get it. I'm glad his parrot apologized for literally shitting on us. Thanks, buddy. Yo, PC's kind of got the fucking sauce. Juan Jose Perez, let's go. Vamanos. He's lagging, but he's he knows what he's about. He's making good time. this again. They, I think they have to break me out of this or else I just stay in it. Um, yeah. They, they didn't want to break me out. They said, you're not helping us anymore. Your chart's gonna look like poop. Let's take a peek at it. Like poop. Oh. Oh shit, he does know what he's about. Let's go. He's got the Golden King mount out, so you know he's a real one. Dang, this one went fast as fuck. Ugh. Freehold parts ruined. Oh! What's up, sand guy? Any, any y'all, any of you fellow WoW players playing Season of Discovery? I made a character the other day is to investigate it. It seems kind of interesting. I don't know what class I want to make though. Try it for a bit. It seems like it'd be more fun with a group. I was I was right about leveling being slow as shit. Yes, sir. It classic WoW does not respect your time. It's from an era where an MMO was meant to be experienced over a very very long period of time. And it's not even like most of the content you're doing is meaningful. It's just fucking kill five bears, but like. You have to do it so much. It's only fun in a group. It's just classic with master class skills. It's like classic with additional class skills that really can change the way you play. 
Like, mages can heal, warlocks can tank. Like, there's some, some interesting things going on. Oh, cool. Booty, says this guy. Okay. Duplicate armor chest, it's over. Oh no. Tanner, the rate has to be boosted. There's no way it's 1 in 127. That's got to be on normal runescape. It is boosted? It's boosted to 1 in 127? And you're... And you've gotten three pieces in like 30 KC? What the fuck? Oh, guys, here's the best part about Mecha Gnomes, okay? The swimming animation. I swam for the first time the other day, and I said, wait a sec, this is kind of fun. That's kind of fun. That's fun. They need more of that. They need more of that. But they don't. Instead, they just move like normal gnomes. What level are we? 37? That might be it, guys. I might be done. That's 10 levels in this stream. That's pretty good. We're getting really close. I think I'd be level 40 if I'd gotten the 10% since I started. I literally thought it was only rep. This whole time, Darkmoon Fair has been both. Maybe tomorrow, uh, we'll try to get him done. We'll try to get him done. Okay, well now we're here. Um, Tyrion and um, Meowix, thanks for playing. Um, we were zooming. I look disheveled. My hair is all... Remember when I got a haircut and everyone said I was bald? Yeah, my hair got cut real short, but I, ha I can have hair. I'm not bald. I can have hair, I just didn't it right then. That's all. I'm not bald. I promise. I can have hair. It looks like shit right now, but um but I can have it. <laughs> okay. Um Church of Not Crash, thanks for the prompt sub. Crazy how fast it grew out? I told you guys, I get it cut really short, because otherwise I'll have to go every week. Like, it grows so fast. It's only been like, four weeks. And you can't even tell that how sh you can't even tell it how short it was. Like it... Gotta learn to cut it myself? <laughs> Don't worry, I believed? No, I think you might have been the biggest naysayer. Jollibee, if that is your real name. But then it looked like a boiled egg. That's alright. That's alright. Cut it in the tub like Doc. Doc cuts his own hair? In the tub? for him. <laughs> Saw him yesterday. He liked Godzilla. When am I getting that ePal payment? You weren't supposed to fucking say that. Um, Tanner, you get your hair cut once every two years? Yeah. Tanner has really long, luscious locks for those who aren't in the know. Oh. You nearly died typing that? How easy is God Wars Dungeon? Tanner's AFKing Armadale right now. 
I got permission to show something on stream. Hold on. Ugh. Um, girl DM sent me a picture of whiskey, and I said, can I show this on stream? And she said, sure thing. So, uh, ooh, it's gigantic. There he is. Why is he so cute? Mr. Whiskey. I like his snout. He's so like poofy where his whiskers come out. Got defined face. He's very handsome. I hope to meet him one day. But yeah. The cat has to be so soft. I bet he's so soft. I hope I hope I can see him so one day. I told her next time if she's ever at a con that all of us are at, she has to like smuggle him in with in a suitcase. Okay. Well, that was Whiskey. He's very handsome. Bye, everybody! Two hours 45? That went fast, huh? Can pet photos please be a mainstay of my streams? If I ever make a Discord, yeah. I was talking to Connor about it. I said, I want to make my own Discord, but it sounds like the biggest pain in the ass to get it set up. And he said, just have someone else do it for you. But then I'm not familiar with the inner workings of my own Discord. So, like, that's obnoxious. That's terrible. Bo both options are bad. You can make it in, like, a night. I don't want you to... I don't want you to have to do that. And then transfer ownership. Discord making is super easy. Not if you want it to, like, be nice, right? Right? Oh, well, we're not going to talk about it because I'm ending stream. Bye! Bye. Bye. My wrist is kind of cracking. Bye. Just gonna copy an existing one and go up from there. Tanner, don't say grow in my stream, motherfucker. Fucking Tanner, piece of shit. Piece of filth. Fucking piece of filth.